Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to talk about how you can pay your tuition fee as an international student. So if you are coming in September 2022 to commence your studies here in the UK, then you have come to the right place. Right around this time, even I was trying to figure out how I can pay my tuition fee. So I thought of making a video on this topic because I understand this can be an anxiety provoking step and having the right information is very important and can make all the difference. So first I'm going to explain what all options you have to pay your tuition fee as an international student, how I paid my fee and that is through ICICI bank transfer. Then I'm going to tell you about a couple of things that you should keep in mind before you start your process. Before I jump into this video, I just want to say please subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up if you like this video and also hit the notification bell so that you know instantly whenever I upload a new video. I make videos on graduate school life and things that are related to university students so your support will be highly appreciated. So here I am on the website of University of Edinburgh as I am a graduate student here at the University of Edinburgh and have an experience with the university. So I thought of using this as an example to explain the whole process. But I'm pretty sure the process would not be much different if it's some other UK university. I will put this link down below for you to have a look at it later on. As you can see, you have three options here externally funded students, internally funded students, and finally self-funded students. If you think you don't lie in the above two categories, that is externally funded students and internal, internally funded students, excuse me, then you need to select self-funded students and you will be redirected to a new page. This page will look like this. Again, I will put this link down below. You can look at it later on. Now coming on to different options as a self-funded student. So you have three options here. First is pay by debit or credit card. Second is pay by installment. And third is bank transfer. You can choose either of these options as per your convenience and your circumstances. You can pay by debit or credit card or you can opt for installments. A lot of students opt for installments or else you can choose bank transfer. I am going to talk about bank transfer as I said in the very beginning because that's how I paid my fee. If you click on bank transfer link, you will be redirected to this page. This may look overwhelming, but it's not that complicated. Trust me as I will explain it. As you can see, you have these platforms to pay your fee to the university personally. I chose ICICI Bank. The reason I chose this bank is because I had a branch of this bank nearby my home and that branch had Forex services. Now this is important. You should go to the branch of ICICI Bank that has Forex service. Another important thing is that you don't need to have an account with the ICICI Bank to use this option. I did not know about this so I'm telling you all. When you click on pay on the global pay for students platform you will see something like this under paying fees from you can select the country that you're from for example india and under student academic fees you need to type your fee amount in gbp that is great britain pound and not in your local currency after this you can fetch your quote to explain things better to you all, I fetched a hypothetical quote and things will look like this. If you select ICICI bank option, then you will need to put your personal details. This is all very simple. It's like your name, your email, your student ID and your country. When you click on next down below, you will get this form. This is what the first page will look like. This page has all the instructions. So you can see here payment reference number is I paid my fee in Indian currency. So it says INR and your fee amount will come under this down below. You have all these instructions that you must read very carefully. Also, I mentioned before that you don't need to have an account with the ICICI bank. So on the right, here's the details. If you are a non ICICI account holder. I had no account with this bank so I used this option and made the transfer from my bank to ICICI through RTGS. 
the next page of this form will look like this this form has about five to six pages it's not very long and you can fill it very easily if you come across any questions or queries then you can go to the nearest branch of icici bank and ask them they will be happy to assist you just describe you what are options you have to make a fee payment as an international student and how you can make a bank transfer through icici to summarize first step is to generate a code and make sure that you enter the right fee amount and you can get this confirmed by your offer letter then you need to select icici bank transfer option then you need to put your personal details finally you can download the form and fill it you can take this form to the nearest branch of icici bank but if you are a non icici bank account holder then you need to first transfer the money from your bank to icici bank pool you can do this either through neft or rtgs now coming on to the two most important things that happened to me and i did not know about them unfortunately i generated my code first thing is that this code is only valid for about two to three days let me show you as you can see it says this code is valid till july 29th and i remember that i generated this code on july 26th so you have this time frame and your funds will need to be transferred to the university within this time frame don't worry if you're not able to due to some unforeseen events it's very much normal it happened with me and even i had to generate a second code there are no penalties or anything like that you can always generate a new code but i just thought it's important that you know about this coming on to the second important thing and this is totally based on what i experienced the money that i transferred from my bank to icici bank pool through rtgs took a bit longer my rtgs transfer got cleared but the officials at icici bank told me that they already have a bunch of applications to clear in their pool so by the time my turn came it was over 2 pm so the transfer to western union was not successful uh, by the way icici bank does not send money directly to universities it first sends to western union and western union finally sends the money to universities told me they will initiate the transfer to western union the next working day but unfortunately in my case it was saturday and the bank was closed closed so i had to generate a new code the reason why i'm telling you about this is i believe if i had known about this whole situation then i would have started my process a bit earlier but no worries i generated a new code and got this turn next week uh, but if you ever have to generate a new code remember always remember that it will be based on the exchange rate of that day this is all for today i've just described you all the options that you have to pay your fee as an international student especially through icci bank transfer how i paid my fee and a couple of things i believe that are important which you should keep in mind i hope this video was helpful and informative for you all if you have any questions or queries and you can write them down in the comment section down below take care and stay happy